Happy Mother's Day to all the mothers at home and welcome everyone to a presentation of the NBA on 2K Sports. Thanks for joining us. I'm Brian Anderson and joining me at the table, Richard Jefferson and Grant Hill. We've also got Allie LaForce bringing us reports. Taking a look at the Lakers. And given the nature of the rivalry between these teams, expect emotions to be running high. Both teams have to feel a little on edge right now. And who doesn't love this stuff? Two teams that have beef. Look, the stakes are a little bit higher, and it should make this a very interesting matchup. And although he's undersized at his position, his vertical, yeah, that'll clean up a few mistakes. Time called here. Los Angeles decides to talk it over. You know, what's amazing about LeBron is his total effect on the game on and off the court, Richard. Yeah, he makes his teammates better. He makes the league better. And he has been a champion for social justice. Here's Russell. Down low. Achimura. And it's slammed in by Achimura. And this is exactly how Russell does solid assist numbers. I mean, just great delivery on that play. A shot from the mid-range. Brown gets the bucket. Well, Grant, this is the type of game that may look lopsided. But as we've seen, anything can happen. Anything can definitely happen, B.A. And look, you have to understand that every guy in this league is talented. If you come in flat and those other guys are inspired, you can fall. But honestly, you shouldn't. It's all about handling your business. Porzingis misses. They timed up the layup perfectly. The D saw it develop and got there to bother the shot. Here's James. Second shot opportunity. And it's Jason Tatum with a rebound. And here are the Celtics. Four-point game. With the 10-footer. And he hits the jumper for two. And it's clear that Tatum loves the mid-range, excels at recognizing when to shoot from there. Well, the Lakers hired Darvin Ham to be their head coach back in 2022. Grant, that proved to be a great move. I agree, B.A. I mean, Ham was an assistant for a decade in the league, earned his spot as the main guy, and Darvin was a really tough player, too. I mean, he went undrafted and won a title with the Pistons against the Lakers. Here's Reeves. We saw him with 19 his last time out. No good from outside. That is not a guy you want to allow open looks from range. Lucky for the defense, he just couldn't get it to go. On the wing, Holiday. Back to Tatum. That one falls. Nice feed that time from Holiday. Tatum's got a second basket. How about the balance from Tatum? Absorbing the contact, it just doesn't matter. He takes it like a champ. Right side, Russell. To the paint. That's tipped. It's stolen by Tatum. 
And a look now at how the offensive approach has been going here so far for Los Angeles. I've really been impressed with how aggressive they've been inside, looking to capitalize from the paint whenever they can. And I just love playing on teams like this, passing teams. You can tell they really like playing with each other, and hopefully they keep this up. Now here's Tatum. 33 points last game. And so he draws the foul, headed to the line to shoot a pair. It's going to be on Anthony Davis. And even in a short time in the NBA, Tatum has become the model wing for the modern NBA, RJ. Yeah, he does everything so well. Shooting, defense, playmaking, you name it, this man has it. He gives you everything you want and need in that wing position. He does not get the second one. And talk about consistency, RJ. Boston has made the Eastern Conference Finals five out of the last seven years. Yeah, that's pretty phenomenal, especially since some of their best players are still developing. I know a guy that thinks that they haven't been very good for a very long time. But I know what Celtics fans want. They want a ring. But they should still feel very proud of what this young team has accomplished. And he makes a first. In an otherwise sterling career, Anthony Davis has often been haunted by the injury bug, RJ. Yeah, but he's taking it in stride. He always manages to figure out a way to come back strong. And when he is on the floor, he is delivering the goods. Some big guys struggle at the line. Not him. He's put in the work to defy that assumption. Oh, it's Porzingis with the jam. And put it on a platter. Holiday serving it up for his teammate. Russell misses from close range. Brown gets the bucket. Brown's got five points. When you're trying to stop a guy like this, you have to match his intensity level. Time called here. Los Angeles decides to talk it over. So both teams making some changes here. The Lakers trail. Here's Vincent. Pass to Vanderbilt. Davis a screen. And it's Tillman with a rebound. Right now, firing on all cylinders. Yeah, there's a nice flow to this offense right now. Horford can't hit. It's not easy to finish in traffic, but those are chances he has to convert. And book it for Vanderbilt. Getting enough shots in close to play inside out. Now here's Brown. Five points in the game. And the jam by Brown. Was it just me, or was there a little bit extra on that slam by Brown? Pass to Reddish. Nine seconds separating the shot clock and game clock. Deflected! Now the Celtics on the move. Here's Pritchard. Count it. One for one to start the game. Here's Vincent. Yet to see a basket. Puts one up from 19. Hauser grabs the board. Not that time, but that's a shot that he's going to make more often times than not. Well, we've seen some great shots in the first quarter. No shortage of offense. It's the Celtics. They lead by four. Quarter number two coming up right after this break. Don't go anywhere.
And for those of you just tuning in, second quarter action is where we are. All right, guys, let's get your take on the scoring breakdown for the Celtics. I've really been impressed with how aggressive they've been inside, looking to capitalize from the paint whenever they can. Another thing they're doing well early on is passing the ball, spreading it around the floor, and feeding guys who are well set up to score. Well, Boston's been a franchise that has sustained winning, Richard. Yeah, B.A., look, they've had down years like anyone, but they don't have down decades. And the Celtics, they replenish as fast as any team outside of maybe their rival Lakers. Here's Tillman. Pass to Tatum. Shot clock at six. Fade away. No good. Off the front rim. So it's the Lakers now. Trailing by four. They're coming off that loss against Denver. Yeah, we know that on the road, you're already a little out of your element. Then the misses from the line become contagious. Yeah, they weren't doing themselves any favors missing all those free throws. You could sense the frustration mounting as the game went on. All right, let's get a report from Allie. Hey, Brian, LeBron James last season moved into the top four all-time in assists and first all-time in points scored. Not only that, he is the only player in NBA history with over 30,000 points, 10,000 rebounds, and 10,000 assists. And he's still going. Folks, what we are witnessing is legendary. Brian? That is the truth. Good stuff, Allie. Thank you for that. Back to Vincent. It's stolen. Tatum with it. Picked up by Reddish. Pass to Tatum. It's stolen by James. LeBron gets the bucket inside. In the paint, LeBron James is capable of running right over the defender. That is athletic. Baseline try. Tatum gets the bucket. Tatum's got seven. And we talk about the importance of versatility. He's really got it all on the offensive end. And the ball out of bounds. The Celtics will have it. You know, there's some great ball handlers in the league today, but maybe not as much as in the past, RJ. Well, most teams are more focused on ball movement now, B.A. Passing is the emphasis, not ISO play. But at the end of the day, you better have a guy late game that can do the ISO work. Now here's Tatum. He's got seven. Quarter two and just under two and a half minutes gone by. The shot. Here's James. Back to Reeves. Outside Russell. Pass to James. The Lakers got to get one up. Late clock. And it's slammed in by Achimura. The selfless attitude of James when someone on his team has a clean look. Look, he feeds him. Outside Tatum. Back to Brown. Holiday from long range. Rebound by the Lakers. <laughs> Just terrible defense. I don't know how he missed that shot. James, outside. Here comes LeBron. And slam dunk by James. LeBron dunked that like he was angry. Is he okay? Man, he got the table shaking over here. A great read to get a hand in there and disrupt the play. Yeah, I think he was hoping to maybe even get the steal, but I agree. He still got a good outcome. Now here's Brown. Putting up 23 points per game. He's proved how reliable a threat he is. Richard, when you look at Austin Reeves' road to the NBA, it's a pretty inspiring story. Yeah, undrafted out of college, signing a two-way contract with the Lakers and making the most out of his opportunity, really improving year by year. And the Celtics in possession here. The Lakers getting their last shot to go. Screen by Horford. To the middle. And Horford powers it home. Proving he's more than just a go-to scorer. Brown also loves swinging the ball to open teammates. Pass to Reeves. Blocked! Left side, Brown. Over Ashimura. Brown can't hit. 
And the defense was right on him there. Nice contest. Hachimura outside. To the inside. And he banks in the layup. Davis has got six. And why go away from attacking inside if the D has no answer for you? Outside, Brown. Back to Holiday. Outside, Brown. From deep. Doesn't go that time. And stolen by Brown. And a pretty tightly contested game here as we end the first half. The Lakers on top. Up by four. And don't go away. After the break, we'll see you right back here for the start of quarter number three. And again, great to have you with us. A shout out to all the moms out there on this Mother's Day. Boston trailing. Outside White. Outside Tatum. Tatum to the rack. Some solid defense from James. Inside. And it's going to be a goaltending call here, so they will count the bucket. I mean, he had the right idea, but his timing was just a little off, and it resulted in a goaltend. And so it's Brown with it. He brings it up for the Celtics. Six-point game. Outside Tatum. Back to Holiday. The kick out to White. 4-3. The Lakers with a rebound. Their strong work ethic has been evident on the glass. Really getting after it and being physical. And Porzingis with the block. And finished off by Davis. Here's Brown. Money from the wing. Brown's got nine. Not the shot I expected him to take or make, but hey, look, joke's on me. He hit it. Here's Russell. Soft touch off the glass. And the Lakers lead by eight. Yeah, inside the paint, Russell stays so nimble, helping him get such a high percentage look. Pass to Tatum. Over James. This isn't how they wanted to start the second half. Only one of four. And let's send it over to Allie LaForce. The Celtics have terrific depth. They have a number of reserves who could start for other teams. All-star Jason Tatum said, those guys sacrificing coming off the bench, I think that just speaks volumes to the commitment that we have to be our best and to playing to our standard every night. Brian? That's what it takes, Allie, right? Thank you. And I'm sure this isn't how they drew it up at the half. Only one for five here in the third quarter. Pass to Davis. The shot's good on the assist by James. He's got ten. Boy, absolutely no rim protection, leading to a lot of easy buckets here. Oh, uh, getting the hoop and the harm. That's tremendous body control from Brown. Free throw good, Brown. Now Los Angeles with it. 13 points was their biggest lead of the game. Back to James. Tipped. Trying to claw their way back into this. And the best way to do that, minimize your mistakes and take good shots. It's going to be on LeBron James. That's foul number two for him. And there's just one foul now away from the penalty. Second half of play here with just under two and a half minutes passed. Tatum draws the double. Oh, it's stolen by Achimura. Now, here is James. He's got 11. Would you say testing the limits of his range there? Yeah, he might have been feeling himself a little too much on that one. He can hit it, but not consistently. Now, here's Tatum. Trailing by 10. Oh, a clear foul there on the missed shot. So, he'll get a pair at the line. It's on LeBron James. 
You love how Tatum commits to his shots. A foul won't stop him from getting an and one. He hits the second from the line. Three minutes gone now in the third quarter. Outside Russell. Pass to James. Fires from the corner. Rebound Boston. And to put things simply, this has not been his quarter. Ooh, took him no time at all to get that one. Tatum's got 10 points. Since halftime, they've been chucking up more shots from beyond the arc, trying to score in chunks. Down low. Russell. That falls. Nice feed that time from James. Yeah, more points coming from inside. In that respect, they've been the more aggressive team. And Boston calls time here. And the Lakers making a change here. In the third quarter with just over three and a half minutes off the clock. Here's Pritchard. Checking his stats. He's scoring around nine and a half points per game. You can't take that shot in front of Davis. His reach, his height. Come on, man. That was never going to happen. Screen by Horford. Oh, Brown going to go get it. Off with the layup. And they've committed to controlling the boards, and it's paying dividends. And Vanderbilt, no good on that one. And so it's Russell who brings up the ball for Los Angeles. They've got a nine-point lead. Back to Davis. Davis drawing the double team. It's Prince on the wing. Right wing. Five to shoot. His first shot attempt. Count it. And it's an 11-point Laker lead. Boston with the ball. Here's Brown. Plenty of space. And he drains the quick shot. Brown's got seven now in this quarter. Scoring well this quarter. Picking up steam as he goes. And great job to establish position and square up. There's 39 seconds left in the third quarter. Pritchard, no good. And here's Russell. Give him eight. On the wing, Davis. Puts up a three. And it's Tillman with a rebound. And they can run out the clock here. No need to rush it. Yeah, and you don't have to be quick. You just have to be deliberate. Brown inside. Wow, gutsy finish inside by Brown. You see the confidence building in Brown offensively. First, it was taking over stretches. Now, it's taking over games. And so it's the Los Angeles Lakers closing out the quarter with a seven-point lead. And it's all due to their ability to own the paint. They've been dominant down low. More 2K action in just a moment. And this is it. Glad to have you along for this fourth quarter. The Lakers in the lead. James outside. Looking to get it going. Ooh, LeBron with the slam. Okay, wow, old man LeBron James getting acrobatic, putting on a show. I see you, big fella. Look at Tatum, powers his way up for two. Maybe they've been going to him a little too much. Now he's having a great game, but his team is losing, and that is all that matters. The shot by James, no good. It's impressive how they've overcome his cold streak tonight. Everyone stepping in to fill the gap. Love to see him inside passing like this, as well as guys being on the same page. Pass to Prince. 
James inside. The rebound, Celtics. And we played through about a minute here in the fourth. And it's Tatum missing. Had enough room to finish, and that's one he'll usually make. Wood left side. Back to James. There's the three. And Wood with the stuff. You just got to box out Wood. You can't let him get on the board because Christian, he will cash in. Outside Tatum. Three-pointer. And Tatum drills the three. And defensively, how do you leave him that open in crunch time? Time called here. The Lakers decide to talk it over. At this point in the game, fourth quarter, it's always important to stay focused. And while the coach goes over the plans, these players are getting a much-needed chance to get hydrated with some Gatorade. Let's go now to the sideline and catch up with Allie LaForce. I was able to catch the message that Darvin Ham was giving to his team. He was clapping in the huddle, saying to his guys, loving the effort right now, keep the intensity on them. Leave no doubt in their mind that this game is ours. Guys, back to you. Okay, thanks, Allie. It's good. This is when your interior D has to be on high alert. Pass to Holiday. Back to White. Outside Holiday. To the middle. Clock at six. Shakes him. And Holiday powers it home. Yeah, that's some flashy stuff from Holiday. I mean, those moves give confidence that carry over into your shot. Pass to Reeves. Back to James. Here's Davis. Outside Russell. Davis, a screen. And he lobs it up top! And they force the shot clock violation. Great D. Boston trailing. Pass to Brown. Outside Holiday. Got a hand on it. Now Russell. And that's going to be a turnover. They call him for the eight seconds. Brown looking around. Outside Holiday. Up and over Russell. Back to Holiday. Launches a three. Again, Holiday missing. Questionable shot selection on that three. Not really helping as they try and narrow the deficit. To the inside. Shot's good by James. James has gotten four this quarter. And he's coming off a huge performance, and his confidence couldn't be any higher. And his coach knows that, too. When it ain't broke, leave it alone until someone stops him. Just let him roll. And that one goes out of bounds. Last touch by James. Such a risky pass. Hopefully he thinks twice about attempting that again. It all comes down to this possession. They must get points. Anything other than a make is game over. This is where you lean on your stars to get you to the finish line. Oh, my. Huge play from Pazingas. A testament to the competitiveness that he plays with. Back to James. Pass to Reeves. Six on the shot clock. And here's James. Basket counts. And the Lakers lead by six. Like how many times have we seen this before? LeBron James taking over when they needed him most. There you go, JB. I love his confidence. One of his strongest traits. James, outside. It's stolen by Holiday. And right here, they can't waste any time. It needs to be a quick shot than a quick foul. 
Tatum from long range. Second chance effort. Two seconds separating the shot clock and the game clock. That three's off the mark. Here's James. And it's James with the jam. Now look, a coach is going to trust LeBron James to just put up monster numbers because that's who he is. But it is nice to see him get into a nice groove like this. And Boston calls time here. They're behind by six. Five ticks left in the fourth quarter of this one. Five ticks left to play in the fourth. Tatum with another miss. And so it's the Lakers with the W. And they barely squeezed out the win here on the road. And B.A., the visiting team is always under some added pressure. But they made it work and got the win, whatever the margin may have been. And that's going to do it tonight, folks, for our broadcast. For the entire 2K...